Merry Christmas. Um, okay, I'm about to do some Christmas gay shit, okay? This is Christmas gay shit, okay? So, we about to talk about this gay man, okay? So, um, give me one second. One second, one second, one second. Okay, so I'm clicking. This is his his apparent his wife's Facebook, okay? Bitch. So these is Armenians. Armenians are Christian. Armenians um, celebrate Christmas generally. Generally, Armenians are Chris Christian. So um, number one, how is you the wife of a fucking multi billionaire? Hold on, we're about to look up some Armenian people, some American Armenian people, for example, on Facebook. And I'm just I'm just going off of that here. Hold on. Um, Kim Kardashian, for example, she's an Armenian, um, she is an Armenian American. So hold on. Well, she hasn't posted anything for Christmas, but I don't think she really has to, because I mean, obviously look at her. Like, she's obviously real and obviously around people. Do you understand what I mean? She is obviously real. Um, so we're not, like, I mean, look, she's posting pictures of her baby consistently, like, every fucking day type shit. She posts pictures of her kid, like, every fucking day type shit. Um, so, I mean, she doesn't really have to prove anything for Christmas. You understand what I mean? Because we can just get the gist that she's like with her family. Like we can just get the gist that she's celebrating Christmas with, you know, the rest of her, her Armenian family. So, um, you see, like, do you see what I'm talking about? Like she posts pictures of her kids all the damn time. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Versus, hold on. Let's look up Cher. Cher is an Armenian American. And hold on. Look, look at her pr promoting promoting the the love, promoting the love. But anyway, um, so, I mean, she hasn't posted lately, but we know Cher. Like we've been knowing Cher. Cher doesn't have to prove anything. Do you understand what I mean? Cher doesn't have to prove anything. She could go offline for a good like five years, and we'd still know Cher is real. Do you do you know what I mean? Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, we would still know she's real. <laughs> Just like, do you understand? Like, she could delete her social media profile. She could just completely just say that she's going off the grid for 10 fucking years. And we'd still know Cher is real. We'd still know she's real. We'd still know she's alive. Do you understand what I mean? So she doesn't have to prove anything for Christmas time. But let's look at this motherfucking hose, motherfucking um number one this shit how okay do, do you understand the difference between kim kardashian and this child this cgi child um the fact that she posts pictures of her child like every other fucking day and kim kardashian does and this picture was taken literally like a year ago like do you understand what i mean and yet she's still like uploading stuff on her facebook but everything she uploads is like fucking like like torturous like i don't know how to describe it like it's like trying to paint paint it as if armenians are literally like walking around naked in the streets and starving do you understand what i mean like number one like do you see like look at the context behind this picture they're like trying to claim that like oh help elderly with food those living in poverty and alone helping the needy in armenia number one you can deduce that she isn't alone because who the fuck do you understand what alone is hold on let me look up the word alone because y'all don't understand what alone means um let me go on with the thesaurus alone means um but being alone by oneself lonely single unattended 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 um by itself on your own deserted by yourself um me myself and i um hold on like okay do you like isolated and lonely abandoned deserted forsaken isolated solitary desolate companionless and strange friendless insulated separate 
by oneself, by itself, unbefriended, outcast, without a friend in the world, unaccompanied, antisocial, secluded, recluse, unsocial, um, without friends, ostracized, all by oneself, unhappy, with no one to turn to, feeling friendless, home, okay, homeless, like unwelcome, without companions, banished, exiled. Do you understand like the synonyms for alone? Like, do you understand what I, what I mean? So we can deduce number one, that she isn't alone because obviously somebody like cares for her. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, it just makes no sense. Obviously somebody's like making a po, you know, to like care for the poor people of Armenia, like the needy in Armenia. Like, do you understand what I mean? Number two, how is she poor? Like, for starters, look at which look at where she's living. I mean, it might not look like the furniture might not look modern, you know, like to give off the illusion that it's rich. Do you know what I mean? Um, but how is she poor? Like, obviously she has electricity in this home. How do you have electricity but you don't have food? Do you know what I mean? Like, how does that add up? How do you have electricity and a whole ass television, obviously with cable, obviously with cable, but you don't, but you're poor and alone? How are you alone if you have television? Those are people connecting, like that's the reason what why television exists. So people can connect with other people through, through the television. Like, do you understand what I mean? Um, number two, like, how is she poor? Like, she has a whole ass fucking dining table here, has whole ass fucking beds, whatever these are. These are probably couches with covers over them and like a little, like covers over, like this looks kind of like a table and there's like a cover over it. She has a whole ass calendar. She clearly has privacy because she has two doors. Um, what else? Um, she has rugs. Maybe this is a big rug. Yeah, this is a huge rug right here. She has a huge rug. She looks like she has two rugs. Um, like, do you understand? Like, that's not poverty. Like, hold on, let me look up a picture for poverty. Like, poverty. Like, this is poverty. Do you understand? <laughs> do you understand what I mean? But I wouldn't necessarily call it poverty. Because, number one, he's grinning his fucking... His eyes out. And his teeth look clean as hell. Like, he's dirty as fuck outside, but his teeth clean? Like, do you understand what I mean? Anyway, I'm just, like, I'm just trying to find, like, real pictures of poverty, not, like, pictures that, like, you know, kids purposely got dirty for. Do you understand what I mean? Like, this looks a bit set up. Um, poverty is, like, literally, like, I need to find, like, real pictures of poverty where someone's, like, completely alone. They have no help. Nobody, like, hold on, this is poverty. Hold on, let me let me show you an example of poverty. I wouldn't even consider that poverty because, um, hold on. I wouldn't consider this poverty because she's still, like, they still knew, like, she still had a tracker on her. She still had, like, communication. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? Like, I mean, like, poverty would be like she didn't have a tracker on her. There was no telepathy that exists. Nothing like that. Teleportation doesn't exist either. And also, simultaneously, she didn't have a fucking um, tracker. Anything like that. So, she's just out alone. Like, if you've seen this movie, Gravity, where she gets detached from the, um, from, like, the space shuttle and just starts drifting off into space alone, that's poverty more than anything. Because who the fuck is going to save you then? Do you understand what I mean? Who the fuck is going to save you then? Do you understand what I mean? I wouldn't necessarily call this poverty because, um, what do you call it? Like, these people aren't alone. They have more than enough help. Like, do you understand what I mean? They have more than enough help. Do you understand what I mean? So all of this is a, a lot more, like, theatrical than anything. But this, compared to this, is, like, do you understand what I mean? This woman looks clean. She looks clean. She might be like theatrically wearing raggedy clothes, but do you understand the context behind this? Like she's wearing raggedy clothes, but her home looks clean. Like, do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? How this doesn't add up? She's wearing raggedy clothes. She looks clean. She looks well kept and well taken care of, 
but her clothes are raggedy. Like, do you understand what I mean? How it's theatrical? Do you understand? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Um, because, like, her clothes are raggedy, but her fucking TV is working. Like, do you understand what I mean? Her TV's working. She has a whole ass fucking television. Do you understand? Do you understand? Anyway, so $7,000 raised out of 7,020 points. Do you understand out of 59 people that donated, where is Surge? Where is Surge? Like, do you understand what I mean? Where is Surge, like, with this money to drop in? He makes, like, hold on. Let me type this in. Hold on. Um, Surge talking on... Bitch, bye. Don't play 3,009... <laughs> $3,000 in 2018? What? This is a lie. Okay, this is a lie. Exactly. That's why this website's for forbidden because it makes no sense. <laughs> Hold on. Is Serge talking on rich? Net worth is $20 million. So, on. I'm trying to see like how much he makes like a month or a year. He's obviously getting passive income. Like, do you understand what I mean? He's obviously getting passive income. Like, do you understand? He can't draw. Okay, well, let's see. Like, I guess, <laughs> do, you, do you see this? Like, per month? I wouldn't even necessarily say he's making $32,000 per month. I think he's way, he's making way much more than that. You don't have a fucking whole ass net worth of $20 million and make $32,000 a month. Um, so, so this is per year, 4 million, I guess they, they misspelled it. But do you understand what it is to make $8,000 per week, which is like an understatement compared to what he's making? The fuck $19 per hour? Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, do you see this shit? Do you see this shit? Like, they're trying to make it look like he's getting the minimum wage. Um, but anyway, he got a whole ass $20 million net worth. Um, and he can't drop $5,000 to help these kids. And, like, do you understand what I mean? Like, how this doesn't make sense? Talking about, like, help 70 kids in Tavish without winter boots. Like, do you under critically poor families... Like, hold on, let me type in poor on the thesaurus so that we can get an idea of what poor means. Poor means, we're not talking about income. We're talking about the actual essence of being poor because you could, you could, one could argue that you can be poor with a lot of money. Do you understand what I mean? Like, we're talking about the essence of being poor. Um, hold on. Like, marked by pity or sympathy. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, um, sad, hopeless, pathetic, like, wretched. Um, like, you know, like, completely destroyed. You know what I mean? Um, inconsistent with established standards of good form or taste. That's a lie, because Armenians aren't fucking, like, poor in taste. So, obviously, one can deduce that Armenia isn't a poor country in general, because Armenians aren't fucking poor in taste. Cra Armenians aren't generally crass. They generally aren't crude. They generally aren't unhappy. Like, that's all I, d I do know that. And just go on Snapchat and go, go to the Armenian, go zoom in, in the, in, on the world view on Armenia and tell me of all the people that are unhappy. Um, low brow? No. Gross? They aren't gross. Armenians aren't gross. <laughs> They aren't regrettable. They aren't, they, I'd say maybe they are scandalous because they lie about fucking Azerbaijan and Azerbaijan lies with them to make it seem like they're fucking killing each other. Um, <laughs> but anyway, hold on. Lacking any form of defense, which is a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. Um, having worse or not or not as good in quality or taste worse inferior or poor they have airports in armenia how the fuck are you poor like do you understand what i mean how are you poor and you have whole ass airports in, in armenia do you understand what i mean 
Um, having no fixed place to live. Um, obviously, Armenia, Arme hold on. Let me type in Armenia on Google Maps so that we can clearly deduce that these people, everyone, in, like there's hardly homelessness there. Hold on. Like they act like Armenia is just devoid of homes. Like, do you understand what I mean? Devoid of like air conditioning, devoid of electricity, devoid of everything. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like they try to make Armenia look like it's just this horrifying place where everyone's running around naked, starving. They don't have any literature, any education, any language. They're just fucking running around like fucking naked ass fucking like rats. Like, do you understand what I mean? That's the way they're trying to fucking paint it as. Like, do you understand what I mean? Let's zoom in. Like, look at this city and look how organized it is. Like, obviously it's organized. Obviously there are cars everywhere. Like, do you understand? Like, you're a rich country if there are cars all over the fucking place. You have, like, look at all the businesses everywhere you fucking look. Like, do you see a karaoke club? A karaoke club. Hold on. Let me, let me see what, um, hold on. Tabush. Let me type in this place. Tabush, Armenia. Let's see if it's really that horrible that kids just can't have winter boots. And for crying out loud, like, hold on. This is a province. Okay, so hold on. Give me one second. Tabut, like, okay, without winter boots, but look at this girl. Look closely at this girl and tell me, does she look like she needs winter boots? Like, I mean, she got a whole ass shirt. She looks clean. Like, hold on. Compared to these kids, these happy ass fucking kids with the dirt all over them, running all over the landfill and the trash. Like, for starters, Armenia does not look like this. Like, there's trash everywhere and everyone's walking over the slums and trash. Like, Legos. Armenia, like, I've never seen a place in Armenia that looks like Legos. Do you understand what I mean? Like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. But you don't see people going crazy talking about, let's, let's fix Legos. Let's fix Legos. Do you understand what I mean? Like, nobody's going fucking crazy about Legos. Do you understand? Nobody is going crazy about Legos. And people are literally, like, walking on their shit in Legos. Walking all over other people's shit in Legos. But hold on. But look at this girl. Tell me, does she look like she needs winter boots? Like, do you see her? Like, I mean, just by looking at her, does she look like she needs winter boots? Like, she looks clean as hell. She looks like she's shower she showered, like, at least, like, 10 minutes before that picture was taken. Um, clearly, like, this is just one picture, but let me... Let me click on this. Let's see if there's more information. Hold on. It has come to my attention that 70 kids, like, do you understand what I mean? Like, exactly 70 kids? Like, do you understand what I mean? And, like, hold on. Not only 70 kids, but they lost their father in war. So are you implying that you didn't say they lost their fathers in war? But their father, as in, like, so you're telling me that their whole one man had 70 children. Nor will they have any because they cannot afford. Like, what? Oh, hold on. Like, something, something just isn't adding up. Hold on. So you gave them Bibles? You, you're you talking about that book that talks about teleportation and, um, and, and telepathy being real, right? Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, um, hold on. Hold on. We're, cause, like, I'm just, okay, this is a better picture. So we can deduce, like, number one, okay, so you're telling me that this girl doesn't have winter boots, but she has a whole ass, whole ass, like, sweater. She has a whole ass sweater that looks clean. She has a whole, like, a book, whatever this is. I don't know. There's, like, designs on it. Um, she has ponytail attire. Like, do you understand? She has hair accessories. She has all of the goods except winter boots. Like, do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? So you're telling me she has all the goods. She looks like she fucking showered that day. Um, obviously, the person behind her obviously has the goods, too, because look at what they're wearing. Um, 
but you're telling me she has all the goods except winter boots because her father she's 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 a, a sibling of like 70 other kids with one father do you understand what i mean one father one father and like hold on let me to bush let me type in to bush um to bush armenia Okay, tell me, does that look like a slum? Like, look, okay, this is the province, Tavush. Um, does it look like slums? Like, do you see this? Like, does this look like a fucking slum? Like, people, like, poor ass fucking people fucking live there. Do you understand what I mean? Poor, the poorest of the poorest of the poorest of the poorest live there. Like, does this look like a slum? I mean, this just looks like a river that just happens to be you know, like, brown due to sediment, not because of, like, shit and trash and sewers. Like, you know, like, the Ga Ganges River in, in India where corpses are just floating down the river. Um, no, this just looks like a river that has a lot of sediments in it, so it looks brown. It's not sewer water, it's just brown. And this happens to just be a home, like, you know, like an apartment building that was built right next to the river. Kind of like how Venice has, like, houses literally built on top of water. Um, this place does not look poor. It looks very scenic. It looks very scenic. Um, obviously there are homes everywhere. Like, I don't see anything nasty or disorganized about this place. So one can assume that if you live in an organized place, the chances are that you're less impoverished as someone who lives in disaster like this. Do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? I mean, there's some organization here. Like, look at this. This is some organization. So I wouldn't necessarily say they're 100% poor, but there's a lot of trash and a lot of disorganization um, that you don't see here in Tabush, Armenia. Hold on. Like, do you see, like, I don't see any poverty, like, for crying out loud. Like, I don't see poverty around here. Hold on. Like, are, these are the poor kids? These are the poor kids? These are the poor kids. The smiling ass kids that look like they showered like 10 minutes before they took the picture and put conditioner and shampoo on their fucking hair. The poor kids, right? With this huge mural behind them because they're so poor and they have like this exquisite art to stand in front of. That That's the poverty that we're talking about in, in, in Tavush, Armenia? Right? The ones who need the winter boots? Like, right. Okay. Hold on. Um, let me type in um, cities and to bush. Um, hold on. To bush province. Let's just go to the largest city, for example. I'm just saying, Serge Tankian is gay, and this woman, this woman doesn't exist. I'm just saying, she doesn't exist. She's not real. Um, she's never been real. Um, things don't add up. Um, let me see the cities. Capital is Ajavan. Ajavan. Let me type this in here on Google. Um, Ajavan, Armenia. I mean, just look at this city. Like, tell me, does it look disorganized to you? I mean, look, they have schools, so one can deduce that they're getting education. Like, okay, they have um, they have food courts, so one can like. I mean, does this look like these people are impoverished beyond fucking belief? Like, look, there's electricity. <laughs> they have a college here. Like, do you understand what I'm talking about? Like, I mean, zoom in on these homes. Um, Google doesn't do justice about what these homes look like inside or outside. This is just an exterior, like not outside, like up close. Cause hold on, let me see if I can get the street view to see if I can go in. You see, I can't use the street view. Let's see if there's like, um, they're like pictures. I can maybe let's go on Google earth. Give me one second. Cause I'm getting to the bottom of this, cause this shit don't make no damn motherfucking sense. 
talking about they ain't got no winter boots, but y'all got organization, colleges, food courts, um, cars. Hold on. Y'all got cars, y'all got food courts, y'all got colleges, y'all got electricity, y'all got televisions, y'all got privacy for crying out loud. Like what, what poor, what poor person has privacy? Like, do you understand what I mean? What poor person? Tell me what poor person has privacy. Like that's the least you can get. That's the least you can get. Hold on. Um, give me one second. Abidjan, Armenia. So we're zooming in, in and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna find pictures because I know people upload pictures on here. Um, hold on. <coughs> they have a fucking university. Like, do you understand what I mean? Hold on. Not only that, they have views. This is a scenic fucking place. Look at all the mountains around them. You're telling me they're all poor as fuck? Like, hold on. They're living in the forest. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, even, even like the outskirts look organized. Like, do you understand what I mean? This place looks organized. There's street names. Hold on, I can't really get the street names on here, but I'm sure they have street names. There are cars, obviously. Like, you can see the cars right here. There are cars. And I'm 100% sure they have fucking um, electricity. Like, Armenia isn't known to be like North Korea. Okay, so give me one second. Um... Give me one second. I'm trying to find where the pictures are at. Um, hold on. No, this isn't it. Hold on. Map style. Borders, places, everything, all borders, all, pro okay, now, here. Hold on. Everything, um, turn on 3D, turn on animated clouds. No, I don't want that. Um, I'm trying to find where the pictures are at. Oh, yeah, here they are, the photos. I clicked on them. Okay, so here are the photos of these these places. Let's, for example, let's zoom in and let's see if we can find more. Okay, look at this. Tell me, okay, there's art in that city, in Tabush. Why, how is this place poor? Like, do you understand? Let's look at poverty. How, like, where's, do you understand? Do you see this shit? Do you see this shit? Like, the stray dog, the nasty stray dog? Versus this, like in Tabush. And okay, hold on. Let's see something else. Let's see. Let's get closer to the homes. Let's see if we can see homes. I mean, like, I mean, it doesn't look like um, New York City, but it definitely doesn't look like this. Do you understand what I mean? Like, it definitely does not look like this. Do you understand what I mean? Obviously, they have electricity. There are cars everywhere. There are cars everywhere. Cars everywhere. So technically, if they wanted to leave the country, they could just drive out. Do you understand what I mean? Um, hold on. They have a resort. They have a whole ass fucking resort here. Do you understand what I mean? Um, hold on. And they need winter boots? Like, do you understand what I mean? They're over here suffering for, they can't find winter boots around here. Like nobody can donate here. So they need um, Serge Tonkian's fake wife to fucking ask for them. Do you understand what I mean? Scenic views. Hold on, let me, um, like, look, this is scenic. This is fucking scenic. Like, I don't, I don't see the poverty here. Obviously there's electricity. Like, look at the fucking um, poles, the fucking um, electricity poles. Um, what else? This is scenic. Like, people pay, like, millions of dollars just to fucking live in, in areas like these. Um, like, it just doesn't look poor. Like, I mean, it just doesn't look poor. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, <laughs> um, this doesn't look poor at all. Like, I just don't know how to describe it. It just doesn't. There are solar panels there? Like, bitch, what? Solar panels in Armenia? And yet Hose is over here begging for winter boots and they're critically poor? Um, this does not look like a poor house. Like, do you understand what I mean? Um, uh, bitch, this is in Armenia? They're poor and they have houses like this in Armenia? Like, do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you understand what I'm talking about? 
Like, look at these scenic views and you're telling me they're poor as hell and needy, needy families that lost. Like, look at this fucking home. Like, do you understand what I'm talking about? Hold on. Look at this. This is beautiful. Like, look at this. This guy. Needy families in Armenia? They have horses, obviously. Um, what else? What else? How else are they not poor? Look at the solar panels and look at the scenic ass fucking view. Hold on. Yes, poverty. Look at the poverty. And the the electricity poles. So much poverty. Um, hold on. The solar panels again. Um, yes, yeah, so much poverty. Um, they have zip lining. Yes, because they're so bored. Okay. Hold on. Let's let's like go to a rural part. Let's see if we can find something that's a bit poor. I mean, okay, just from the get-go, it might look poor, just from the exterior. But tell me why there are electricity poles going through here. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, oh, you might, your house might look it on the exterior poor. And for all I know, these might not even be houses. They might just be like farm, farm home, like farm, I don't know, like where horses are kept, you know, like to upkeep horses and stuff. Like they might not even be legit homes. And on top of that, y'all have electricity running through here. Like, do you understand how rich electricity is? Like when you have electricity, like how rich that is? Like, do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? Like you have literal light at nighttime, pe something people like take for granted. Like, do you understand what I mean? So that not only does that mean you have that, but you also have heated water. So what are you even much talking about? Hold on. Let me go somewhere else that's like, I guess, I mean, this is antique. Obviously nobody lives here, hold on. Not even the poor kids, hold on. This is obviously like old stuff, you know, like antique stuff, like caveman stuff. Um, scenic views hold on let's try like a another poor poor city a poor 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 so poor city in armenia yes the poor cities with the homes right hold on poor see poor cities poor towns poor villages with the scenic views the poor cities with the scenic views hold on scenic views and poor cities a rainbow scenic views poor cities Poor cities, people suffering, no electricity, no running water, no toilets. Um, hold on. Yes, poverty. This is what poverty looks like. Everyone knows it. But so much poverty. So much poverty. Um, hold on. I'm just trying to... Um, hold on. Give me one second. I'm trying to find something that looks like this. Do you understand? I'm trying to find something that looks like this in Armenia, okay? Because, I mean, she obviously needs, she needs sandals for crying out loud. Look at all the shit she's stepping on. And, like, do you understand what I mean? Look at all the shit she's stepping on. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Um, as opposed to these needy kids in Armenia that are, what, stepping on, like, concrete? On, on like clean floors. Like, do you understand what I mean? They're not stepping on trash and landfills and poop all over the place. Like, do you understand what I mean? I'm not saying they shouldn't be donated to. I'm just saying, oh shit, this shit, this shit, hold on. I'm not saying they shouldn't be no donated to. I'm just saying that, um, I'm just saying that like something isn't adding up. Like y'all are making it seem like they can't just go down the road and be like, hey, um, my winter boots broke. Do you think you can get me one? And they're like, oh, okay, let's go. Let's go drive down the store. There are clearly cars everywhere. So, um, hold on. You can't drive down the store and get some winter boots? Like, winter boots don't cost that much money. Hold on. Armenian, um, store. I'm just gonna type that in. Armenian store. Um... No, Armenian store in Armenia. Hold on, let me let me type in like this city, for example. Um, 
Ejavan. Hold on. Give me one second. Ejavan. Just saying, something isn't adding up because you would assume that like Surge would would upload pictures of him and his baby and his and, and his wife like celebrating Christmas, but instead he's resorting to like Armenia is suffering and everyone's getting bombed 24 fucking seven. Hell is breaking loose at all times and we're about to die, blah, blah, blah. Like, do you see what he posts on Christmas time? You know, the Artsakh people that are suffering 24 seven, but when you zoom in to Artsakh, and on um, Snapchat worldview, you don't see any of this. Like, do you understand what I mean? You don't see any of this. It's just a whole bunch of people like partying and having fun. Do you understand what I mean? Like, they're just having fun and hanging out. Like, do you understand what I mean? Um, hold on. Let me type in like store. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up their prices. Um, Look, obviously they have stores all over the damn fucking place here. Do you understand what I mean? Hold on. Clothes. Let me type in clothes or shoe store. Shoe. Shoe store. Um, they have a Disney store? Like the fuck? Okay. Do you understand what I mean? Hold on. Let me type. They have hair salons. They have a pizza. Like, do you understand? Like, this is supposed to be fucking hell on earth according to surge it's supposed to be they have a social security office like what like it's supposed to be hell on earth according to surge and his fake wife um where is like i'm trying to find like a shoe store they obviously have shoe stores here they, they have an electronic store like bitch what how do you have an electronic store but this is hell on earth hold on They have churches. Obviously, they have religion. Like, it's not like North Korea. Um, but even then, North Korea isn't completely poor either because North Korea is all political theater. They're fake. They lie about all this shit. They have a wine factory? Like, bitch, how do you have a wine factory with solar panels on its fucking rooftop and you're, like, literally dying? Like, everyone's dying. Everyone's poor. Everyone's getting bombed. Everyone's getting nuked. Suffering 24-7 death 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 um and my wife is over here begging pleading for fucking donations that i can't give her i can't give as serge tankiana i can't give her five thousand dollars i can't give her five thousand dollars i can't give her seven thousand dollars i can't give her however much other money i can't give her five thousand dollars because they're all suffering and suffering and suffering and suffering and suffering and suffering and suffering. There's no money and I have a $20 million net worth. And if I give her $5,000 and that'll drop my net, net worth to 19 million, 500, like, <laughs> do you understand what I mean? 19 million, 900, I can't even do the math right now, but it's going to drop my net, my net, my net worth to 19 million. So I can't give you $5,000, Angela. Do you understand what I mean? Like, how this bitch isn't real? She's not real, okay? She doesn't exist. She's literally a CGI created by Surge and a whole bunch of fanatics just to make it seem like he's just a straight man with kids and, and like, do you understand what I mean? Like, he's just trolling. Also, like, what is this? Like, do you understand what I mean? Emergency nutrition for families in Bartonis? Let's look up Bartonis. Hold on. Vartenis, however you say it, Vartenis. What do you mean emergency nutrition? What do you mean? Like, look, okay, do you see this place? Do you see this place? Do you, like, look with your own eyes and tell me, does this place look like there needs to be emergency nutrition? Like, it's organized. Do you understand what I mean? Like, it's organized from the get-go. Um, obviously, look, there are like farms in people's backyards. So you're telling me that Armenians hate each other? They can't just give the, the fucking families food? Like their neighbors can't give them food? Do you understand what I mean? How this doesn't add up? Oh, and here are the solar panels, the emergency nutrition people. I don't know if these are solar panels or what, but they look like solar panels. Um, obviously this place has electricity. Don't play that shit. Don't play that shit. There's a telecoms fucking, um, 
building here? Like, what the fuck? This place has electricity. So you're telling me they have electricity, but they don't have food? Like, okay, hold on. So let's go back to Ajivan, um, so that we can find the, the needy children's fucking, like, obviously they don't have, I mean, they, they clearly have clothes store, clothes stores here. I'm just trying to find the prices. They have a pharmacy. Here's the women's clothing store. Okay. The women's clothing store. Um, let me type this in here. Let's see if they have like an online website. So obviously they have, they have, um, obviously they have, um, what do you call it? Uh, like pictures of what's going on there. Um, hold on. They're coming out blurry. Um, I guess this might be it. Hold on. I'm looking for the prices because I'm pretty sure the prices are fucking like not absurd. And I'm pretty 100% sure there are kids running around. Like, look, at, do you see this? Look at these Armenian people celebrating. I'm 100% sure they saw needy kids walking around barefoot as Christians. Knowing that Armenia is a Christian country, they would fucking provide. Like, it doesn't even matter. Even Muslim countries, they would provide. Do you understand what I mean? They would provide if they saw children running around without shoes in winter time without winter boots like do you understand what i mean so why does this bitch have to go and beg for donations knowing that she has a fucking 20 million dollar net worth husband for kids that need um what do you call it need winter boots that obvious kids that look like they've been bathed in like the past few minutes do you understand what i mean um hold on One second. Um, so, and number two, let's look at these people. What do you mean emergency nutrition? Like these people obviously look well fed. None of them look like they're starving. Do you understand what I mean? Like this picture looks theatrical more than anything. Do you understand what I mean? Like emergency nutrition? Hold on. Let me type in malnourished. Okay, look at, <laughs> I'm just laughing because like, dude, after teleportation, after the US government says that teleportation is flat out real and that telepathy is flat out real, you can deduce that shape shifting is real. So you can look at these pictures and just automatically know that they're fucking theatrical. Do you understand what I mean? Like how do you live in a universe where teleportation happens naturally and telepathy is just a given and this shit happens. Do you know what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? But anyway, let's put that all, all aside, the whole theatrical thing. And let's look at, like, this child that's obviously malnourished. Um, and then let's look at this. Hold on. Do any, like, actually, this bitch look kind of big. She look kind of big. She look a bit overweight. Um... Ha emergency nutrition like do you understand what i mean emergency nutrition for like th these people that are clearly not malnourished like do you understand what i mean clearly look like they bathed within like the last the last few hours like do you understand what i mean clearly look like they fucking use conditioner and shampoo on their heads d like does she have makeup on her under her eyes like do you understand what i mean how does she why is she why did she have makeup before she has food? Do you understand what I mean? Um, hold on. Once again, our collective resolve is put to test. Armenian children and their families are in need, and there isn't much time for us to mobilize. Like, do you understand? When you say there isn't much time for us to mobilize, this is the picture you post. Do you understand what I mean? This is the picture you post. When you say there isn't much time to mobilize, the Armenian children are suffering and their families are suffering. Do you understand what I mean? These are the pictures you post. Do you understand? Do you get where I'm coming from? When you say the Armenians are suffering, these are the pictures you post. There's not much time left. We need to bring food or they're all gonna fucking die. 
these are the pictures that you post. Do you understand? These are the pictures that you post. You don't post some some woman. You don't post a fucking woman that's bloated. You don't post a bloated woman. You don't post a theatrical picture of a bloated woman with with clothes on and like literally like their bones aren't sticking out. Like this girl, this girl isn't malnourished. She's just skinny because she's skinny. And probably they probably picked a whole bunch of fucking people with fast metabolisms to take pictures of. Cause I remember whenever I was like 17 and 18 and 19 and practically 20 up until like age 24, I ate so much, but this is the thing. I started gaining weight because I started fucking deliberately overeating on top of how much I ate. Do you understand what I mean? Like everyone that knows me knows that I eat a lot. And the thing is I didn't even get, I didn't get obese. I just got a little bit fatter, but like <laughs> I didn't get obese. That's the thing. And I eat a lot. Do you understand? I eat a lot. And even back then I used to eat a lot. I used to eat a lot and people would always fucking talk about it. Like, you, how do you eat so much and stay so skinny? Well, probably this hoe right here. This hoe on the same fucking level. Eating and eating and eating and eating and eating. And now they're talking about emergency nutrition. Once again, our collective resolve is put to test. Armenian children and their families are in need. And there isn't much time for us to mobilize. Due to recent developments in the eastern borders of Armenia, an estimated group of 150 families are bravely living in Vardanis village with minimal resources. What do you mean minimal resources? Like, what do you mean? I'm confused. Like, makeup? They have makeup and clothes and, and like, electricity and obviously help obviously help like i'm confused um hold on most food supply chain business are temporarily shut down what do you that makes no sense that that literally never happens in the history of humanity like even during covid the food supply chain businesses didn't go down do you understand what i mean and the supply is limited which is causing hardships for these families our team at fcn has evaluated the conditions and we have quickly developed a plan to provide a week's worth of foods, like, okay. Do you understand how preposterous this is? Why would you only give them a week's worth? Why don't, why wouldn't you give them a consistent amount of food so that they can survive? Do you understand how preposterous this is? Um, <laughs> quickly developed a plan to provide a week's worth of food supplies to these families with a detailed and carefully constructed budget of $5,000. Bitch, 150 families? How are you going to feed 150 families with $5,000? Do you understand how preposterous this is? With your support, we hope to collect this number in no time. Please spread the word in order to share our fundraising records, efforts for our people and our homeland. We will reevaluate the circumstances after a week and present a plan to mitigate. We sincerely hope that within the next few days, the situation at the border will stabilize and the families can return to their homes. Bitch, what are you talking about the situation at the border? Go on Snapchat Worldview. I'm gonna type this in. What is Snapchat Worldview? Snapchat Snap Map is an interactive, complete map of Earth designed for sharing location information between friends. You can view snaps submitted to Snap Map from across the world, including celebrations, events, and breaking news. Um, yes, go on Snap Map, zoom in to Armenia, and go look at what people are posting around the border in Armenia. Like, they're literally, this shit is. This shit is political theater. This shit isn't fucking happening, dude. This shit is not happening. Like, they're making it seem like Armenia's getting bombed at the fucking border and everyone's running in the fucking... Like, that shit is not happening. It's not happening, dude. It's just not happening. It's fake. Bitch, like, this bi they They big people. Like, what do you mean? They're fucking big people. Like, she's well-fed. Look at that double chin. Like, do you understand what I mean? She's well-fed. She's well-fed. They're all well-fed. 
hold on and they said the border they didn't even say specifically where at they just said the border so one can imply that it's the entire fucking border and that's not that's not the case go on worldview on snapchat and you're gonna see that there ain't none of that shit fucking happening people are just fucking driving around the border like it ain't no big fucking deal nobody's shooting anyone people are partying people are hanging out there's no big fucking problem over there hold on Let's go to the Armenian border Armenian border with Azerbaijan, which is a pretty long border. Like, let's look up, like, let's find a city, for example. Like, do you see how dramatic this is? Like, they, they like, purposely don't have, like, a connection to Azerbaijan through here, but anyone who wants to cross can clearly just walk through here. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, this is all political theater. Do you understand? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Like how this is political theater and not not genuine. Kind of like how North Korea and South Korea have like that border where they try to make it seem like they hate each other, but they literally fucking don't. Do you understand what I mean? Um, hold on. One second. Like, this is dumb, dude. Like, this is dumb. You really think that these people, like, in this place... Like, number one, why would there be a school? Why would there even be a city here if these people know... Or a village here? If these people know that these people literally, like, how far away? Like, 200 feet away are fucking, like, flat out, like, insane fucking barbarians that are ready to bomb them at all times? Like, do you understand what I mean? They're literally right across the road. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, this is just, like, it's all political theater. It's dramatic. Hold on. Hold on. I'm looking for um, a place where there's, like, an actual like connection in the border like they're, this is all political theater they're just trying to make it seem like they all hate each other they're all gonna kill each other blah 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 Azerbaijani people are stupid they have no education and Armenians do and Azerbaijanis are Muslims and Muslims hate Christians which is a fucking lie um hold on here's a fucking here's a border connection like do you see what I'm talking about obviously they don't hate each other why is there a road connecting the, the two fucking countries like do you understand what I mean Why would you have a fucking, and it's temporarily closed, not because, um, what do you call it? Not because Azerbaijan is bombing them, but because it's Christmas. Literally, look, it's Christmas today. It, it might be like 11 p.m. over there, but it's still closed. I don't know what time, hold on. Number one, why would you have a school next to a fucking country that's about to bomb you? Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, it's obviously closed because it's, like, one in the fucking morning over there. Not because, um, Armenia, I mean, Azerbaijan's about to bomb them. Hold on. Um, hold on. Let me move. Obviously, this is just too much mountainous terrain, so there's, like, do you understand? Hold on. Um... Look, another, another connecting, another connecting bridge. Why would you connect to a country that you hate? Like, do you understand what I mean? Listen to, listen to the logic behind that. Why would you have roads connecting two countries of culturally y'all have been hating each other since the fucking beginning, since the beginning of history? Do you understand what I mean? Give me one second. Do you understand when people culturally hate each other and it's a collective thing that they hate each other, they don't sit there and build bridges. Do you understand what I mean? They don't build bridges and connect to each other. Do you understand what I mean? Like, it just makes no sense. Hold on. Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, Armenia. God, this is a bit too hard. Oh, oh. And on top of that, hold on, let me show you how preposterous this is. 
if y'all hate each other so fucking much, why the fuck? Like, do you, let me explain something to you right now. Hold on. Why would your country look like this? Like, hold on. Why would your country look like this? Like, hold on. If you hate each other so much, why would Azerbaijan be like within, like within Armenia? Do you understand what I mean? Then Artsakh is another pro, like, you know, it's like an Armenian province within Azerbaijan. And this, technically you can say that this is like Artsakh. This is an Ar like an Azerbaijani province within Armenia. Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, imagine if you're Azerbaijani and you have family here but your aunt lives over here and you're going to visit your aunt. You're going to have to drive through Armenia and interact with Armenian people to get to your fucking aunt. Do you understand what I mean? Like they, this is all political theater. They're trying to make it seem like, like they all fucking hate each other. They're getting bombed 24 fucking seven. There's just screaming and hollering and riots going all over the street. If anything, America is worse than, than Azerbaijan and Armenia. Because we have Black Lives Matter over here. Like, do you, okay, do you see what I'm talking about? Like, this is Armenia. This is Artsakh right here. Like, this is Artsakh. And, like, do you understand what I'm talking about? Like, this shit just makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Like, the structure of it makes no sense. How do you have Azerbaijan, like, within Armenia? Like, do you understand what I mean? Like, this, one can deduce that this is, like, Armenia. This part right here. Then you have Azerbaijan here. Then you have it here. Then you have um, Artsakh right here. Number one, human beings aren't hateful by nature. So um, I'm just going to keep it right there. This makes no sense. I'm sorry, but to me, this just makes no sense. Um... I'm just saying this shit don't make no damn motherfucking sense. What I'm what I'm saying is that this bitch isn't real. She's not real. She's just not real, dude. She's not real. <laughs> she just doesn't exist. And Serge Takian is a homosexual. I'm just gonna keep it right there, okay? Um, goodbye. And Merry Christmas.